Lime and clay with sand and salt. Yeah. Yeah. And it handles the wet. What's, uh, I mean, obviously it depends on your clay, but what's, what's what, roughly, oh, I think we do one to three, roughly. And then I watched one. the Euro one lime, three clay. And then I watch the Europeans, and I think maybe the Japanese, they sometimes push it up to one to one. One to two, two clay, one lime. You're in that window. There. Is there straw in that? No, no straw in this. So then when you get into using things like salt, I can see how that could like um, help to keep it from drying too quickly. Yeah, and that's why cracking and all that. There. Where do you come up with your ratios on something like that? That one I and what refer kind of salt to the Japanese. This I haven't done enough. Uh, right. They do the blacksmith salt shop here. Over from making tofu. <laughs> oh, I'll just go down and get yeah, some of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Bill knows the, Bill will ask, that's a Bill question, and he knows the technical, and he knows Benito's the technical shop. And I'm like, oh, this is cool and great, but again, I have never repeated it yeah, yeah. because you kind of find a system that works with your materials and your resources, and you kind of fly with that. Right? Um, but I like this, these floors, and I the part I like about them is the non non oil. Not needing oil on them. Mm -hmm. right. So if I'm needing a non-oiled floor, because sometimes the oil can be very expensive depending on which country I'm in, mm -hmm. and can be kind of a pain to um, have to put on. Like say I have to do a floor and I'm leaving the next day and I don't have time to wait for it to dry and then go seal it. Right? I can't come back. Mm -hmm. Then these lime clay floors are a great option. And it's going to be probably harder than our floor. It's softer, harder than an earth floor, than but softer than the con way softer than the concrete. Yeah. Yes. And you could still sweep and mop it, you know. Uh -huh. um. The, uh, so, uh, uh, Bill had uh, mentioned the lime in the uh, shower in the yes. guest building, and that yes. it's a lot less labor-intensive than a uh, Tadillac, but... Yeah, and it's just the same process. It's just how you apply it, right? Instead of applying it and, and smoothing it with a little thing... And comp you're getting more compression with the stone because you've got a point load that you're applying, right? But in a shower, give me a break, do you really need that kind of surface when a lime plaster shower, nicely hard trowel at the end and then sealed with olive oil, same sealant, do the, same, do the olive oil, you, you've got the same product for a lot. You just put olive oil on it afterward, huh? You can lay, you can, you, yeah. You can you need to do it while there's a chemical reaction. So you need it while it's still wet. Um, or still setting. When the lime is still setting. But so, like, that's so way easier, way yeah. faster, way cheaper than doing that whole surface would take me how many hours? To do, if I went over that whole thing with a tiny little stone? Days, yeah. not hours. Well that's like, oh in two hours I'm done, right? You're, um, and and that shower's been there. For 20 years, right? Yeah. So you're going, come on, you guys. But everyone attached, latched on a tug lock, right? Yeah. It yeah. becomes a fad right? without really understanding the process.